<laughs> Six bayonets! <laughs> All right, lads! Forward! Book it up! I cannot wait till we watch that. that. You know what's so fucked up, though, back then, is that with no internet thing, they really would, like, just fucking massacre all these innocent people. Yeah. And they'd write home and be like, it truly was a heroic and victorious day. <laughs> And copyright. <laughs> and a copyright. Tonight. Susan Wojcicki's ghost comes in here and she's like, Ah! Fools! <laughs> you fell right into my trap! You fucking idiot! Fucking hate that bitch. She's always listening. Susan! I love you, Susan. <laughs> we should do a seance of Susan Wojcicki. <laughs> Old man, Susan. Susan. <laughs> If you're Do here, the Ouija. If you're here, show us you're here. <laughs> a giant yellow uh, symbol appears in the uh, middle of the room. Oh! oh! <laughs> no! <laughs> you have called me forth. What do you're you not want? A major pop culture musician? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not. I'm just a YouTuber. You're not even Mr. Beast. Oh! Susan, please! I really don't see the story time animators getting pushed, though, anymore on the trending page. Whoa! Either. Get cocked, bitches. But why? Someone angered her. <laughs> oh, God. The oh, old queen. one out has severely <laughs> rubbed me the wrong way. You have erred, sir. <laughs> and you and your ilk will leave these lands. Flee! Uh, Flee, YouTube, and never look back! This is gonna great. It, this is gonna be such a great story to tell later on in my life. <laughs> I'm making the transition into story time animation. I saw your. I'm gonna talk about how much. I'm gonna talk about how much pussy I get and how many and how many how much drugs I sell. That, that only that fucking only plays. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah, Red Bull. I uh, I tried to get sponsored by Red Bull and uh, <laughs> they said we only sponsor athletes. That is legitimately what damn. They said. And I was like, <laughs> you could argue that I am an athlete of many natures. I would agree. I was once. I have been in a kayak or canoe at least over twelve times in my life. I would just say the mental and physical endurance of making animations on YouTube is an extreme sport in my that books. That should be one. It's to, it's a it's an ongoing sprint to they see They can who add can, it to the Olympics. It's the ongoing sprint <laughs> to see who can mentally fold and collapse on themselves and shoot their entire family first. It's yeah. going to be a Chris Benoit story between either of us. And right now I'm a... Yeah, who do you think it's going to be? I think realistically. Mm. Who do I think? I think I would do it. I feel like I can... I can there's some days I feel all right. And then there's days that are kind of like today and other days where you're just like, I'm on the verge where at any moment I might just snap like a goddamn twig. <laughs> that's how I feel sometimes. Would you spare us? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's all right. You would just take it out on your wife. <clears throat> no, I don't think I'd shoot my family. I would just turn it on myself. Hmm. I'd be listening to fucking like, uh, be listening to like Thin Lizzy in my room really loud. Hunter, what are you doing in there? What fool, my daddy, yo. Whiskey in the jar. Yeah. She's like, at least play the Metallica version. Although I do love that version. I would I would take out others with me. What is your Bowflex? Ben Wong out. It would be my it would be my gaming racer chair. <laughs> that would be that would be the catalyst. <laughs> His was so poetic. Such a poetic ending. He hangs himself on like a fucking cheap ass like home workout system. He's like a big jacked wrestler dude. Kind a, of yeah, kind of poetic. Do you reckon right? he knew like, like when you, he was doing it's it? It's like if you blew out your brains of your Cintiq, it would be like I feel like that would be poetic as well. Well, I think the it Ben Watson more like thought out. Just blowing yourself your brains out. He actually used weight equipment to hang himself. That is true. Don Don would have well, to do something like so I'm trying to focus. Would, we well, would, we let's would. focus on the gamer chair first is what I'm mm. thinking. How do you kill yourself with a gamer chair? Well, that's the thing. Is, well, what I would do then is I would take like my very cheap gaming headset that my wife bought me for like 30 bucks from Walmart and I'd wrap that fucking cord around my throat until I went purple. And I'd be like, ah! ah. The only <laughs> thing though is like there's no poetic really to it because I'm not even that. You're not a gamer. gamer, yeah. So I'd be like, mm. he died as he lived, being a douche. 
He died as he lived. And people are like, what is that? Like, nothing. Memory, just a fucking dust in time. Versus if I sat there at my desk and I, like, propped up my Cintiq pen and I did, like, a fucking, like, just... Like the flip. Joker. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's put a smile... I did it to myself. <laughs> Let's put a smile on that face and slam my head. Unironically, the most cringy way to kill yourself that I can imagine. Be. Yeah. You, you dress up, you do the full makeup. My father was a... Dr- I'm, like, talking to myself. <laughs> Actually, that'd be a good way for me to pump myself up to kill myself. Like, hey, I wouldn't want to go through it and I would do that impression in the mirror and be like, I'm ready. <laughs> It would be a good way to let the world know that you're not necessary anymore. Yeah, you have to stream it too. Except if you're the kid who does, I'm the Joker, baby. (laughs) That that original one. That's a great old YouTube video. You haven't seen that, that, right? What can I say? I'm the Joker, baby. It's big. (laughs) Big meme. That's a great one. I like you throw it. (laughs) 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 Oh, I can't say I've seen that one. (laughs) (laughs) No, <laughs> the loss of nutrients. <laughs> there was the uh, Maxwell TV one when he was a kid. Oh, that's a classic one. But he's Batman. Yeah, yeah. He's not yeah. Joker. Well, his friend was the Batman. No, no, he was. No, Batman. his friend was the Joker. Oh yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. I only remember are the TV Maxwell one. I remember the most is the uh, is yeah him being like justice, and he fucking takes down his mom. I remember mm-hmm. as a kid, I was like, yes, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> I love the movie. I remember when I saw The Dark Knight in theaters when I was a kid, and it fucking blew me away. I think I saw. I think I saw The Dark Knight like four times in theaters. There's so few films where you sit down and you feel like it's just like, fuck. That was that was truly worth coming to the cinema for. Especially as a kid, I remember being like, that was fucking awesome. It's the same reason why I kept having my dad. My dad would just get blackout in the fucking movie theater and just sleep the whole time. But I saw Hellboy like five times in the theaters. Yeah. First time I saw Hellboy, I was like, oh. Yeah, it didn't do it for me. Lord of the Rings, I. Uh. By the time I got in Lord of the Rings, I think they were all out of the theater. Really? Damn, you didn't see Lord of the Rings in the cinema. Man, that blows. I only got to see Return of the King. Really? Yeah, Fuck. Yeah. I saw Two Towers and Return of the King. Well, it, was way, it was way bigger in Europe first. Really? Yeah. Mm. I think I remember seeing behind the scenes about or Ian McClellan getting the Gandalf role. And he was talking about it and he was like, it wasn't really a huge hit in America right away. I had never heard of it until my dad like sat us down and made us watch it like at 2 p.m. We were like, Dad, I don't want to. Yeah, I was like, this looks gay. He was like, we're going to watch this weird fellowship of the... It just sounded like, if you're like 10 or whatever, it Where's just the sounded guns? really stuffy and lame, you know? But I suppose it does, yeah. How long yeah. did it take 10-year-old Don to realize that he was a changed boy? Oh, dude, like... Probably the first battle, right? Oh, probably even before no, that think, when think, there's like I think fire the minute, and shit. I think the I think minute like, like, Gandalf shows up in the Shire with the big hat... I was in. Dude. Even Sauron what? forging the ring wasn't the oh, moment. That's, oh, yeah, that's the intro. That's yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you like, yeah, as soon as probably... I saw that giant hat. Yeah, as soon as I after, saw that. After the giant, especially at that time. No, like, I forgot. It's you, though. And then, like, the fucking big ass loud volcano is just inside. He's like, <laughs> Yeah, he's like, <laughs> It's Hildor! Speak up! No, just what? T- <laughs> toss the fucking ring in there, real quick. He's like, on the other side, like, uh-huh. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> Toss it in there! <laughs> this is what this whole thing was about! It, why would he let him walk away from that? Oh, well, he you like, know, what can I do? He's just like, God! I may be the best it. archer in the world, but no one can hit that shot. Yeah, <laughs> He's at like, least 40 paces is away. It, would it be obnoxious? Well, he had to walk past him, Yeah, too. He could have just, That's like, what I mean. yeah, yeah, yeah. He just like, what the fuck? Whoops. Oh, whoops. He slipped. <laughs> it, you, no one else was there. No witnesses. Well, literally, it's like people are like, are you sure? It's like, have you walked in there? It's a fucking raging volcano. Mm-hmm. It's three feet wide. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's slipped, been, bro. He, he like just, he's like, fucking disoriented from having to climb the fucking mountain itself and fight a war. <laughs> he's up there. He's just like, <laughs> just like <laughs> sulfur. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> 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 yeah, he, that's he a real big plot hole. Cause. That is a huge plot hole, isn't it? Yeah, well, there's so many. What about the eagles? I mean, t- that is fair. You say it like a nerd, but well, it's just make like, it how about we have no fun ever? <laughs> how about yeah? It's like, well, with all these potholes, like with these in this world of trolls, goblins, and magic. I hate. What you. about the eagles? Though I hate I just that don't argument. Want to have fun. People like it's like a, I saw an interview with that Game of Thrones guy who plays Samuel Tarly, <laughs> like the fat dude, right? Who? Oh, the yeah, 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 and he's like. Everyone's worried about me not losing weight over the seasons when there's dragons and trolls and shit. And it's like, yeah, because in the world, dragons and trolls are established. We haven't established that calories don't matter in this world or mm-hmm. that people like don't need to 
you know, eat Wait, what's food. the complaint? So, Samuel, whatever the fuck, was on the wall or whatever, mm. eating, like, goat cheese for... For two years, yeah, 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 like, like running he around. Just, he just maintains like a three thousand calorie. See, but but to me, physique. yeah, but to me, to me, yeah, fucking three thousand calorie, like ten thousand calorie day body. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, that's the thing with that though is I'm just like he's just a big posh that it's just like his character is so pathetic that he finds a way to be fat still. <laughs> <laughs> like his to, body to mass me, speeds. To, to me, in my mind, I was like, yeah, he's totally like people are sleeping. You know how exhausted people are. He kind of he's always like, I can't anymore. It's like one round. Mm. Everybody else does the whole day. So then he just sits there while people are doing stuff while they're sleeping. He's going back through fucking eating bread. That's all everything was too. People were like, give me bread and wine. It's like it'd be easy to be fat as shit if you did nothing. You just overconsume shit. Only had you're trying to act roots. like he. You're trying to act like he was the, like. If you look at any interaction that that Sam guy had in it. He was always just like one round. I'm done, and that was it. Or he's just like, I'll wait here. <laughs> that was, that was I've it. got reading to do. I did love the uh, there's a, that great edit part in like the last season or something when it's like he's removing that dead skin or whatever off of him, mm-hmm. and it's like it cuts from that to like a crème brûlée or whatever. Oh yeah, do you remember that? I, I did that, that, that a few fun. times. It was fun. The only other time I ever saw that was in Me, Myself, and Irene. The <laughs> Jim Carrey Classic. movie that nobody remembers. I remember the hell out of that I film. Love it. He's like film. taking a shit on that guy's yard, and it cuts to the guy getting. The oh shark yeah! Oh like, yeah! Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a good piece. Good edit. Bam. I would watch so many. Uh, I'd watch so many like weird movies like that when I was younger, and like say it, like quote it during classes to my teacher, not knowing what it fully meant. Oh, mm-hmm. what? Like too much. I remember the first time. I like went on a date with a girl, which is like fifth or sixth grade or something. Whenever you parents go with you or whatever, and uh, what? That's I've never heard of that. When you're young and your parents like drive with you and they'll go like have you, you, you went on that? dates in fifth and sixth grade. Yeah, like sixth grade. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like you're dating, but it's like we hung out after school or we saw a movie. Even that is astounding to me. Yeah, I've never, I never would have oh, well, imagined. It's one of those things where it's like it lasts a week. Yeah, you yeah, guys yeah. hardly ever talk. It's whatever, but I remember I met this the girl I was like hanging out with or dating at the time. She sat there, and um, I met her parents. I remember from that movie, the right. the woman <laughs> at the beginning of the movie, she leaves Jim Carrey for a black midget, and he's just like at the beginning of the movie, he's like, "If we had nothing, and all we could eat would was whale blubber. Would that be?" Would you do that? And she's like, yeah, I would. So then cut back a little later into the movie. Mm-hmm. And he's like, you said you'd eat whale blubber for me. And the the black guy says, I should be eating blubber all right, right after I free Willie. And I said that to, <laughs> I said that joke to uh, oh, the no. parents ever. And I was like, all right. <laughs> like, okay. It was like, so, but then like you like, think back on it. What did like, they say? Shit. They were like, what do you mean? And I was like, hey, you will blubber, right? <laughs> I had no idea what it meant. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's just like fucking, fucking cringe. R- <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying it was good. Incredible. Yeah, I don't have I don't have any stories remotely as cringe or embarrassing <laughs> to compete with. Or we've already burned through all of them. So they're all, yeah. yeah. I probably still have some tucked away <clears throat> somewhere. I keep re- re-listening to the Rooster Teeth episode. I think we peaked there. <laughs> that's the that's the peak episode <clears throat> six. Yeah, I mean that's the peak of our existence. Kids cringe. Yeah. yeah, sure. You can only have so many of those stories. It's like he's saying, like we have. I think we have like the devastating highs of something like or lows. I should say of something like that, and then I ca- I just can't remember the small things. Like mm. they're erased. You know, you have to like uncover them. <laughs> you have to, you know? yeah. <laughs> dig yeah. them out. Yeah, dig them yeah, out. Yeah. Dig them out of your fucking subconscious. Shallow grave that is Don's brain. <laughs> <laughs> Bear, <laughs> bear me low so I can feel the rain. What the fuck is that Dave Matthews song, Grave Digger? Have you ever heard that one? That was a popular one when we were younger. Grave digger, when you dig my grave, can you mm. keep it shallow? I remember I used to watch that music videos. Music videos were very popular for me. When me I was too, younger. man. I used to fucking vegetate on the, the sofa. In the morning, you would... Uh, Not even just... I was just, for me, in the morning, you'd wake up and it's VH1 Top 50. And you do that, and you'd be able to, you'd be waiting for it, you're like, oh, I bet it's coming up, and then mm-hmm. White Nerdy would come on Weird Al, <laughs> you're like, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Weird Al. It's Fuse TV, you remember Fuse TV? I don't think I had Fuse. It was kind of like New Age were better than MTV, MTV, and I think they went out of business or whatever, but I just, that was one of my first, like, 
pre-porn sexual experiences is there was a commercial with this chick that had like a bunch of tops on and she was like taking them off one by one you're like oh okay okay what's happening yeah yeah and then before she took her tits out it would just like fuse or something you know but Mm. that was uh tease yeah, it was a precursor. What a, what a fascinating metaphor. Fucking, you get up and start fucking punching the TV. What the fuck? <laughs> man. Show me! Yeah. yeah. What a, f- a fascinating metaphor. <laughs> what <laughs> a <is>. fascinating <laughs> metaphor. <laughs> they're I like, like Nigel Thornberry. They're saying Fuse is the tits. <laughs> like, that, they are oh, as good the as t- that. The tits. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, don't, I mean, I don't feel like they probably had that nomenclature to say what you're That's saying. Probably, but I, mean, I feel like that was probably pretty That's probably the tits. literally the tits. what it was, yeah. yeah. I mean, it was definitely... Well, the metaphor was they are as good as exposed boobs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't even think it would be that. I think they're just like, yeah, we'll show tits and they'll keep people around long enough to be like, mm-hmm. and there's our logo. Yeah, well, maybe I'm reading too far into this. Yeah. Incredible you're going to that cinema. Brand meeting, you're just like, please tell me more. <laughs> what, what were you thinking there? It's tits, it's cool. Mm, so you're saying there's <laughs> more under, like <laughs> keeps going on. There's layers to this, literally. Hey, it was so, like that sustained me for 20 years thinking Fuse TV is cooler than MTV. Like awesome, wow. good for you guys. You're a Pepsi kind of guy, aren't you? Mm. No, I hate Pepsi. RC Cola. Well, well, how does that make me a Pepsi guy? Explain. MTV Fuse, Coca Cola, Pepsi. Well, you don't even know what Fuse is. Yeah, but I can. That's exactly you my would, point. I would, know what you, MTV you is. I don't know. MTV would obviously be Coke. Boom. Mm. Right, obviously. you don't know what it is. No, Prove my th- point hey, for hey, me. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah, I think that I it. think that MTV is gay these days. That's, That's what I thought. Think. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no one thought that. Hey guys, polarizing <laughs> answer here. MTV kind of sucks nowadays. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's it, it hasn't sucked for the past twenty years. It's just uh, it's just recently. Yeah, I, I mean, well, that's how I, that's yeah, exactly. And Fuse was cool, and then it went out of business. I don't even know because like, no I, one watched it. Well, the, yeah, they did. Pepsi. Do you, do you, did they pick the right horse, Tom? Is MTV? I don't think the, there was the, a right horse. I think Fuse, if I remember correctly, was just a watered down MTV. I don't know. I, literally, my whole experience is it looping at my sister's Sweet Sixteen in that tits commercial. What the fuck is a Sweet Sixteen? Because it sounds pedo as fuck. It's just a girl mm-hmm. with her 16th birthday. But what's so sweet you, about you it? You just, just if you're 16, if you're a girl, your 16th birthday is a banger. Your parents doesn't just like sweet 16 sound on. really predatory. I mean, or it really. sounds like any 70s rock song where the lead singer is like, "I'm 48 and, and I'm I want to fuck, fuck a, yeah, 16 year old." It's my sweet 16. Literally, Kiss had Christine 16. Christine, damn, 16. Then the there was a whole genre of music where it was about. That was all it was because like, back then it was like that was totally normal. <laughs> yeah, you come to my concert, you're 13, and you want to fuck, I'm going to fuck you. Well, fuck. Oh, that was like the whole bit, too, in like Metalocalypse, was Rocka, uh, the rock and roll clown guy. Mm-hmm. Oh, Dr. Rock, sorry. He, he's like, she's a, she's a sweet-sucking queen, but she was like 13 years old. <laughs> yeah, and he meets her <laughs> later in her life, she's like in her like early 40s or something, mm. and she's just like fat and old and gross, and he just sees her daughter, who's like 13 years <laughs> old. It's like a cycle. It's a good bit, but the, uh, yeah, it's that was definitely a thing. And then that's, you know. That's what mm. it is. Damn. And now... And now everyone's just like, yeah, Sweet 16. Yeah, well, no. no because it's, there's nothing <laughs> sexual about a Sweet 16. It sounds sexual. Mm. It might be sexual for the fathers coming, but not the... <laughs> not the... Uh, not inherently the party itself. It's just supposed to be like... It's just supposed to be an excuse to have like an overdone party. My dad got like his friends over and he got like security shirts for him. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, brought his friends over and they were playing hide and seek for a while. with the girls, you know. Hanky panky. I was just paying more hammer. I wasn't really paying he attention. Goes over the fucking record. He's like, it's like my baby loves hanky panky. <laughs> <laughs> he starts doing the twist over to him. All right, if you guys want to go anywhere, be sure to be sure to grab your keys out of my pocket. <laughs> hey, girl. Yeah, that doesn't work as well. It doesn't have it the doesn't same happen ring as the ring. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Ugh. Hey, you guys got the girls. I'm going to find the boys. So what they do? Were they like, was it a fun gag? Did the girls like it? Or was she like, was your sister like, God dad, leave! No, she wouldn't. I mean, my what, dad. What, what my dad was like? Do you my have dad a sister? Was, yeah, I have a sister. Older sister. My dad was cool. He uh, like, let them drink and stuff. That's what the security was about. You know. Underage drinking? Well, just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> this is not looking uh, good in your father's face. Hey, no, okay, it's 16. My you know? dad and his friends came over and let the girls <laughs> get, No, 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 no. My dad listens to this to podcast. Put a, to, put, 
<laughs> to put a uh, sense of uh, can we sec- just safety just, and just security. Go ahead and, <laughs> safety and security. We Tom, Tom, to I want to Tom, I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you about this. <laughs> t- Justin, who is my brother, will just go ahead and mute Hunter, and we can talk about it. I'll explain it to you. And I just feel ignore. like you're trying to hide the, the, the roof. My my dad let my sister have a cool party. And she had her guy friends over too. It wasn't a bunch of girls that weren't trying to fuck. And he had his friend. With, the funny part of the story to me <laughs> is his friends are there in security shirts that he uh, bought them to run security for this Sweet 16. But that is that is the whole deal. And I was there. Why is that like a, a good story? I just I just think it's I just think it's amusing. <laughs> are you okay, Hunter? <laughs> I almost spit all the ripple everywhere. <laughs> my yeah, I mean my 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 sister and I and all that were we were allowed to drink way before. Dad never invited any mates over though. We'll say that to help out. That's what I'm saying. That's the differentiation. There's nothing else wrong with this except for that, which is funny. Yeah, <laughs> I suppose it's pretty funny. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Why do I? Why do I keep taking such large drinks of Red Bull during this part of the conversation? <laughs> uh, you said it in this way, though. Mm-hmm. Where, listen, I understand people underage drink and stuff, but the way you set it up the made it sound so the, predatory. <laughs> the can- was, these are the connections you were making in your mind that are just not there. I was just hearing and listening, and mm-hmm. the full, the story itself and the beats. You have, you have a very good way of making that that story very scary. And then, Justin. And then my father. And then it was kind of funny. It was really funny. Him and his Warhammer buddies were. <laughs> 10 or 12 the, of his buds came by. Even all the girls' baths. <laughs> That's just because he wanted a clean house. <laughs> Sponges. We're not allowed. Only hands. Hands and bars of soap. Wash my Warhammer brush and close the <laughs> chaos black paint. <laughs> and the craftsmanship. <laughs> the detail. Where was your mom during all this? It was post-divorce. Right. Yeah, she was outside of all of it. She didn't know about this, this mm-hmm. sweet 16. My dad was the, the go-ahead parent. <laughs> Go you ahead, wanna, you boys. Wanna, you want to pick that one up, Hunter? <laughs> that was a, that was a softball. You sure. <laughs> <laughs> this is post divorce. He had the whole house to himself. <laughs> <laughs> You're, I just cut to. Can we cut to Don Cena too? You're goddamn slandering me. You're slandering me on the goddamn podcast I swear. again. I didn't touch nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I would say I have like the same body type as the fat ginger kid from Sandlot. What's that? Welcome to America, am I right? What's Sandlot done? Yeah, well, how about you go home and Google Sandlot? And I just want to know movie. if he knows. I do know what it is. What it's is a, it? It's an American classic. What is it, though? It's a movie. About? About a group of kids, and one of the kids is a dork, and he steals. He doesn't understand baseball, and he steals his dad's prized Babe Ruth signed baseball. And takes it to the sand lot to play baseball with his friends because they're poor and only have one baseball and they lose it. And then they play, and the talented kid home runs it over the fence, which has like a giant, massive asshole dog living in it. And the movie is about them trying to get the ball back. It's Damn, awesome. the whole film. It's mm-hmm. awesome. That's a good movie. It's actually, actually, I feel like I could watch it and still enjoy it. It's today. a classic. That's yeah, a we, sh- awesome we should watch that on yeah, a movie night. Yeah, that'd line. be fun. They not made t- a, not they till made we watch sequel. Zulu, boys. <laughs> not till we watch Zulu. <laughs> Bambino. An hour and a half of just people being like, look at it. It's like, bah! Next bayonet! All right, lads! Forward! Book it up! I cannot wait till we I watch that. that. No, 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 no. There's one! <laughs> Dude, it's, it's the heroic exploits it's of the, the 207th expedition. 
of uh, fucking red coats in the middle of Africa. <laughs> what's, you what's so fucked up though back then is that with no internet, I think they really would like just fucking massacre all these innocent people. Yeah. And they'd write home and be like, it truly was a heroic and victorious day on the back. Dude, that is, that is literally the climax of the movie. Don't give it away. Oh, have you they, seen it? No, well, give what away? A bunch of guys with <laughs> you, guns you, murdered you told, all the fucking... I, I know how the <laughs> <laughs> so, they, so they they have this whole thing like where they're they're like dug in and they have uh, fucking like you know sandbags and shit and guns and ranks and all that stuff mm. and just a giant horde Sorry. of hapless Africans mm. are charging. <laughs> <can't be> <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we invented ranks and formation. And it's supposed to be heroic. <laughs> Cause they're like they start singing. Men <laughs> of Harlech, stop your dreaming. Can you see Listen, their they're, spare points? They're, they're, they're just a bunch of scared <laughs> Englishmen. Okay. Hey, overwhelming odds against them. Overwhelming 200 odds men. Against, not a stood. not a single casualty. <laughs> <laughs> Which shows their prowess and fortitude. <laughs> the miracle of the battle of fucking... Rock's Rift. <laughs> was yeah, that what it was? There was, there was, there was, was there really no casualties. There were casualties. Were there? Because I don't yeah. think you see them in the movie, do you? Uh, yeah, you do. There's, it, there's it, just like a, a storm like of all the poor Africans going... Doo, 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 while they're just like blasting them. <laughs> and <laughs> and, and oh, singing. Oh, right, <laughs> They know. They, they're all... <laughs> It's, it was like the 50s. 1950s something. Yeah, it's got oh, a it's very a, young a like Michael Caine. Yeah, it's got it's a bunch of famous, famous. Oh, it is. No, 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 no. So maybe no, it was like no, 70s. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, and that's, no, it could still be. Famous. I haven't seen that's it, but the it looks big, great. That's the big triumphant end. You know, mm. they they just like swat. <laughs> no, the big triumph is like so. Okay, they slaughter all the Africans because uh -huh. of their sturdiness and <laughs> <laughs> and and loyalty to their country. <laughs> They slaughter all these African, these really big, strong Africans. <laughs> Michael Caine's other agent. <laughs> Michael Caine's just like, I can't believe that on this battlefield we got to win. He's even got a revolver too. He's got like a spinning cylinder. He doesn't even have to do this like the other ones. He's just like, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, wipe out the Africans, and then they they wait, and there's like a huge crowd of Africans come over the hilltops and surround them. <laughs> and the Africans, they're like, God, what are we going to do now, lads? And the Africans are like, and turn around and walk away like, wow, look what you did. That is impressive. We're going to just walk away. You guys this killed sounds it. almost as offensive as uh, Tom Cruise in The Last Samurai. <laughs> Have you ever seen The Last Samurai? That's a great movie. Have I seen it? It's not a good, it's a great incredible movie. film. Great movie. If you rewatched it, it would be. It I've was great. It, many it was times. great when I was twelve and watched <laughs> it's it. It's right times. now. The Civil War guys who are just like gathering <laughs> everybody. And it, this, the Last Samurai, the last person that is a samurai is the white. <laughs> it's <laughs> God. What's wrong with that, huh? <laughs> yeah. What's your? Why you gotta? Why you gotta step on the white man? <laughs> <laughs> God, this is gonna be a heavy edit of podcast. <laughs> Hey, so, hey, he appreciated that culture. There's a great. Uh, what do you want? He great, appreciated so, more than them. He banged right. that dude's but wife. This, it was it was Zulu. Like I guess it's a real like based on a real story and all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is mm -hmm. that like the British version of like the Alamo? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, but it seemed we like, did it first. It, but it seemed like uh, the <laughs> British version except of the Alamo. The, it was like respected British people. The people in the Alamo were all just like, if I remember correctly, just a bunch of fucking like mishap dumbasses, and they still <clears> beat everyone off. No, they got m murdered. Oh, the Alamo was a yeah. I don't know anything about the Alamo. I mean, like they like held out for a little bit, but like people, I think, over glorify the shit out of what actually happened. Like all mm. the famous people died v very quickly. <laughs> like like extremely. Isn't quickly. the Alamo in Texas? Yeah, mm. we should go visit. It's a, that's the place that made uh, Ozzy couldn't play in Texas for. I think he still might be banned in Texas because he would buy a bat. No, no, no. He was out. <laughs> have you never heard this? It's really funny. He was like out and about <clears> during <throat> tour in the eighties. And he was like all fucking hopped up on drugs and shit. And he went out and took a piss. And he was taking a piss all over the Alamo. And that, and that <laughs> fucking banned from Texas. Wow. Yeah, you wouldn't want to be caught by a sheriff doing I'm that, sure would you? I'm sure probably good by now. I don't know. But that was like a big thing mm. was that he pissed on the Alamo. And that was like a... Oh, it was a scandal, like, was what it? What the hell? That's our country. That's our fuck. Hey, come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah, but it's a... Uh, hey, if I could in, go... In like, in like movie editions of it, though, it's always just like, you know... I don't feel like anyone would be upset if someone pissed on Rock's Rift. 
I don't know why you would. I'm like, it'll dry. It'll be gone. <laughs> that does, like, That's so- what I think. <laughs> <laughs> I fly there. I'm like, kick my people out of this country, will you? <laughs> have you seen, uh, have you been to Stonehenge in person? No. Seems odd. I think I've driven past it, maybe. <laughs> you just don't even stop. <clears throat> it's a it's bunch like, of what, rocks, Hunter. Yeah, but it's like, that's like the famous thing. I don't know. It's like going, just like driving by the Grand Canyon and being like, mm-hmm. well, the so Grand Canyon is like a spectacle, isn't it? Well, yeah, but I still think that there's something like cool with history of how the fuck do these people do this, and it's still yeah, it's standing. A, it's the seventh wonder, isn't it? It's a, is it one of the? I think it's one I'm, of the seven wonders. I'm pretty so, sure. Yeah. That doesn't va- va- uh, validate it. Sure, it does. That actually legitimately does because it's a wonder of the world. Yeah, the uh, they're big uh, giant I, fucking so. rocks, and no one knows how they. Oh, look, them up we like start that. rocks, eh? Yeah. yeah well, and it, it, it. that's why that's what was so fascinating with the pyramids, and then mm-hmm. you just find out that it's like, oh well, it took like. 75 years and just like like th- t- tens of thousands of people's deaths. Kind of makes it cooler though, doesn't it? <clears throat> no, it was aliens, dude. It was yeah, aliens. My, my uh, art history teacher like didn't do like this one person joke that one day. And like, does anyone have any theories of like how they did it or whatever? You know, one of the people, of course, had a cute answer of being like, aliens. You know, the class is like, <laughs> and, he, and she was like, no, like <laughs> stopped it real quick. Mm-hmm. Well, you got it when in that part of the country because that shit will spiral. <laughs> Missouri. Yeah. I just don't. Wait, what? It just isn't Up there in the Egypt. Are you kidding? Inconceivable. I love whenever you like watch those paranormal shows where it's it's like recounting, like what happened. It's like we moved into this house, and it's like the actors have to get very normal looking people, and you're like, damn, this fucking could have happened or something. <laughs> and then it cuts back to the real person and it's like a fat like redneck <laughs> guy. He's like, I told Stephanie to wait by the door but when I looked it was a shadowy figure moving down. <laughs> it's like <laughs> You're like, God damn and it. it. cuts back to the actor and you're like, nah, that's right. That's a dramatization reenactment. <laughs> yeah, I've always thought those things are fucking, like, you find out stuff like the Amateurville horror Obviously, pure bullshit just because ghosts aren't real, but like those people, there's so many holes in that fucking story and everything. The alien one, I think I know what you're talking about. That scared the fuck out of me when I was like 11 and saw those videos on the internet talking about the documentary, like the, the little gray men like walking through the house and shit. They, they oh. did like a reenactment and stuff, and it's just these are like hapless rednecks like out in the middle of fucking Ohio or something. And, uh, yeah, they just, I, I can't remember the story. I think, like, the whole family disappeared or something, and then there was somehow a reenactment or whatever of, uh, like, what had happened with the aliens walking through the house and the shit and all that stuff. But, yeah, this is fucking stupid. I think there must have been, like, some survivor that was swearing up and down that it happened. But, yeah, it scared the I shit swear. out of me. Yeah. I remember when I, when I was younger, I saw the fourth kind, and that fucked me up, too. Like it was, you know. That's what it has like it's like the reenactments of the of the tapes and they try to play it off as mm-hmm. real and what stuff. Do you, what do you think of these alien videos these days? What alien videos? The the uh Commander Fravor, Joe Rogan exposure, and then all those declassified videos of like uh the, the pill shaped ship and stuff. You haven't seen any of that? I don't think I really have. I don't think I give enough shits to care about it. Fuck you, dude. Official of what was it? official Pentagon verified UFO footage. You don't give a shit about that. Like li- literally, the government saying yes, there's aliens. Yeah, you don't care. I figured. <laughs> oh, mm. no way! Look at me. I don't care that much either. You also don't care about the. Aliens. I mean, I de- it's definitely interesting, but it's really. I mean, if I listen, if they were gonna blow us up, they would have done I it fucking, by now. If I if I got a, a knock on my door, walk downstairs, there's an alien person. I'd be like, God damn! But <laughs> until God then, damn. it's just fucking. Ironically, though, you're like obsessed with spooky ghosts that you think are real. Mm. Yeah, aliens, you're like, nah. It's just meh, boring. What super, the fuck super, is boring about it? No, no, no. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's clamp down. What's boring about it? Explain. Eh, just spaceships and Star Trek, and you have your Star Wars. <laughs> Versus ghost. <laughs> <laughs> it's the supernatural. Cool. Heaven and hell. <laughs> Combating each other. There was a video. Okay. Most and the problem is that every single thing that happens, there's this asshole called Jeremy Corbell that's attached to it that just sounds like the most illegitimate loser in the world, you know. And of course, he has to be tied to the leaks, and then he's on like CBS and Fox News. Like, well, the thing about the aliens yeah. is, no, he is a very specific voice like, that is Bob, very is make fun of. The other guy, who's the other Bob? Bob yeah, 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 yeah. Isn't he another one where people are like, he's like, I worked on UFOs and. 
the ships and right. we were trying to back we were trying to backtrack the technology so we could use it for our own our own government type mm-hmm. stuff. And everyone thinks he's like a lying asshole that made all this shit up for popularity, you know. But but it's weird because People the I mean the the footage is out though, like and officially recognized by the government of like things doing things. Oh, you that, trust them now, huh? <sighs> yeah, Mr. Fucking they may, Antifa. You, you guys are right. <laughs> Mr. Antifa. <laughs> I gotta take a step you back. Fucking re- gypsy son of a bitch. Oh, wait, I, need that, that get, was... I need to get my tra- I need to get my tracks back. <laughs> Old's eye, dude. I'm yeah, I'm stopped in my tracks. I gotta think about this. If it was something where it was like now from here forth, mankind and alien kind <laughs> would be at peace. And if something I'd be like, that's awesome, that's cool. But until then it just feels like Sasquatch footage to me. How does it feel like Sasquatch footage? You can't really see it. Yeah, but if the federal government says this is a thing that we don't we don't know what the fuck this what is. What about the what about the hippies in the northern tip of California? I saw Sasquatch with my own eyes. <laughs> you, you, don't, you, want? you don't want to be back me up at all about the like Oh conf- no, I agree. Conflation of logic. And- yeah, of course. Hey. But hey. I've given up at this point. <laughs> okay. You can't educate right. this man. <laughs> What is, okay. If he doesn't want to carry one, uh, excite me about it then, Don. Okay. Give me, let, let's make this a thing. Okay, so what? What? Yeah, what is? What should I be excited about? Okay, what is bizarre to me is as a kid. Is this going to go into simulation theory at all? No, okay. not at all. <laughs> Although it could. It's, as soon as it happens, it could, it could it easily pivot, but it won't. <laughs> that is an easy pivot for me, but I will. I will. Refrain. <laughs> Can I can I try and can I try and convince him this is interesting in like a sentence and if it doesn't work yeah go, yeah, ahead. yeah go for it the government has recognized that there seems to be a species interacting with our planet with technology far beyond our capabilities and that could have all kinds of implications if they've got that power what are they what are they going to do with it the government has literally officially and been covered on every major news outlet as mm acknowledging that fact it's the same thing it's like was it like that that ex military or government guy as well who said there was mermaids no remember that one the current sitting government is saying this is a thing <clears throat> it's not like some disgruntled asshole that's no like yeah, no, I know what you mean, yeah i don't think your sentence worked so should i get into it or well you just did did my, my sentence failed i suppose it seems, so, I mean, I if seems, there's like seems people to if 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 i said there was like Mole creatures under the earth, and the awesome. government had re- see already, and well, the government had recognized they're real, and they have technology far beyond our capabilities. But you're you're saying mole creatures, which I think are far superior than these. Could be space mole creatures. No, but I want them to be mole creatures. That they might be. Know. It's like we too, like you know the classic like we 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 are Earth's true <laughs> citizens. They might be. I wish. Yeah, well, there you go. Now you're mole creatures, not the. They citizens. might be mole creatures. No, but the the mole creatures would never fly. Why not? <laughs> They're moles. They love the ground. Hey, we love the ground and we fly. No, but we we love all the, all things. Like, well, that we, is true. We, we are we, adaptable. We, we have the expansion <laughs> we love to, all to fly and swim. Mole creatures don't really want any of that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, John Pitch. I, 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 I respect the mole creature because I imagine they all wear this exact same brown nap like potato sack outfit and have little helmets. These aliens could Hello! have that. <laughs> <laughs> we have come to conquer we are us. Real. It's like. I, the President of the United States, <laughs> declare mole people real. And then finally we can live in harmony. And they give. The mole people would never live in harmony with they us. They would because it would happen. It'd be something like, it'd be like Indians with casinos, except, <laughs> except, except mole people with, with cave expansion. You'd be able to go look at caves. Here's some caves, mole look people. At these caves. <laughs> these fancy rocks. Yes, this is our land now, and but yes, you do they have are caves. And they do not like us, but good money. I've never had a cabbage before. Eat greens and fermented cabbage, and then they're it's addicted a, to alcohol. It's a, it's a fish. Mm. The mole. The <laughs> <laughs> Small people <laughs> unite! And then it becomes the world news when the first woman mates with the mole man, and there's a, 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 a different breed of human. And that's the next step in evolution. The first woman. Now you try to tell me steps away from Joe Biden and mates with a mole person. <laughs> the first woman, yeah, <laughs> Kamala Harris. That's the. That's no, the... no, no. That's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just 
I'm just going to plant the flag that that was not on purpose. I know Tom, and that was not on purpose. Everyone that thinks that was like a goofy thing to say, you know? That was good. But yeah, no. She more already people, kind of looks like more people, she's a descendant of a mole person. Hey! Hey, Justin! A little, little cut there. A little, little, little uh, razor tool and cut that out of there. I was going to say, any any new breed of sentient being underground, that interests me a lot more. But not the ocean, because that's too scary. Right. <laughs> that's you know, there's all sorts of shit in the ocean where you're like... It's too deep. That's the problem. What are you doing down there? Yeah. Why don't you come it's on too up deep. Here? Some things in the ocean have never even seen light. They're so deep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You ever think about that? Mole people, yeah, but what you, you know s- that there's what, definitely a little ray of light. And just what, like, what, are you, what are you saying? You're, you're less afraid of mole people, so you're more interested in I would in be them? more willing to let them. I'd, be, I'd want to <laughs> shake a mole person's hand. Somebody <laughs> from the deep, I would never want to go in a submarine. And it go, just appears in front of the bay window. Like, exactly. Yeah. You're just like, no. Oh. Exactly. Yeah, but what is the larger point you're making? Like, I just think he d- Don, you're, you're disinterested in the for- aliens <laughs> because you're afraid of them? Stop looking for intelligence that isn't there. Interesting as a mole person. You're like, what's your deeper point? And I'm just like, I like moles. Mole people would be cool. I just like the moles. moles. Mole people. Mole people. There you go. (laughs) And then they'd be like the engines and have casinos and an alcohol problem. What if the mole people came up, they have their own language, and there was a new Rosetta Stone formed? They just speak Finnish. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Spaceships can be cool and stuff. We'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah, I, I try to tell you. It's pointless. Well, if you're excited, talk about it. I'm, I'm sad and disappointed by this. Why? Because it's, it's so like surface level exciting. The like, well, I mean, w- an intelligent person. And I'm trying to understand what you are, though. I'm, I'm not a smart man. I have never claimed to be. I understand what the, these big, crazy things about power and sp- just. I, you know, what I want. I want mole people. I want to see. Uh, I don't want to see spaceships. And it's like, ah, oh, we'll be able to teleport and we'll be able to speed of light. I want a primitive ass machine to burrow itself out of ground. Like <laughs> this is what we use for dirt corn. <laughs> it's like dirt corn what's that and he's like it's just dirt they call everything just like our version of food dirt hamburger but it's just a clump of dirt and they're like Arr. that's all they eat you are selling me on, on mole people I'm telling you it's God, I need a counter time. case right now you'd give me a, a, a thing about aliens I can get excited about and I will but until then I'm I'm convinced myself even more on sexy people. green woman who's got three different holes you can fuck mm, that would be cool yeah, you just got to pilch your audience. That would be interesting, but the only problem is, does I, I I respect mole people because I feel like I'm above them in a way. With <laughs> aliens, I feel like they would feel that they're below, they're above me, and I wouldn't like that. They might have the technological upper hand, but their like psychology and physiology would be different. So mm. maybe just with raw aggression, maybe they're like super submissive. Honestly, here's what probably happened. Any any species that can like traverse space and time mm. has probably had world peace for a long time right so they're probably mm. soft and weak do you think yes. so or do you think it's nothing but expansion they want to conquer no because i think if they were that violent they would have just fucked each other up long ago right yeah mm. bad times make hard men hard men don make let's not turn this into a jordan times peterson make lecture soft men soft men <laughs> make <laughs> bad times aliens Clean your goddamn room. Clean <laughs> your goddamn, goddamn room. mess everywhere. Before, before you come down here and f- fuck with humanity, <laughs> you, you, you gotta yourself. sort your own. <laughs> and that hey. reminds me of the Corinthians when they would go them on the beach. Hey, these are these are the Homo sapiens we're talking about. These okay, are monkeys. All right, we've been fighting since the day one. You, you know, don't want to come here. All know about is cars and planes and fucking. You guys are traveling on the universe. Who cares? Exactly. Mole people. We want mole people. <laughs> <laughs> mole <laughs> people. The aliens like. <laughs> all you, all you, all you care about was fucking mole people. Yeah. So my point was is maybe just with your raw monkey aggression, you could fucking you could dominate these this species. I would only be excited over the the um, aliens if they stepped out of their spaceship and they were very twig like. Hello. And they're like, and they used to that sounds <laughs> terrible. Like that. And you're like, like a praying mantis. Yeah. But then you went up and you look at their hand. And they had a little note. <laughs> Hello. Take the note, Don. You're being a bad representative. I don't want to. He has a little note. I don't want to. He gives you the note, and it's a little post note, and just says hello with a smiley face, and he's like, <laughs> "You're like, oh, space friend." <laughs> yeah, and then instead of going to space because I don't really care about that, I would just be like, "Take me around the world." He'd be like, "Just fly around the world in the spaceship." 
Oh, cool. And Jarvis ducked down. He's like, take me to the mole people. He's like, what is your interest, human? I said, mole people. He's like, what? I'm like, they're underground. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a whole, it's, a, it's a, it'd be a beautiful relationship. Well, there, there you go. Now you've got me all excited. The aliens might know how to find the mole I'm people. I'm still waiting for Don to give me his pitch on aliens. To be fair, you've you've pitched. You nothing. have not pitched a thing. <clears throat> yeah, well, you know, I was giving giving mole people their time in the sun. Oh, I know. Hey, I'm trying to hey. respect you. He just that's comes cute. out with great puns that's and doesn't cute. realize it's cute. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, it's, it's, their time in the sun. Yeah, yeah. There's like a subconscious connection, but the conscious one isn't made until after the fact. Well, until I point it out. Yeah, I don't yeah, think you'd yeah, even yeah. pick it up if no yeah, one said pr- it. Probably not. All right, go. Aliens. It, literally acknowledged by the federal yes. government. Right, you've, you, yes, this yes. Bad track. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't care. Okay, so the fact, the literal fact, according, yeah, yeah. okay, thank Don, you. Don, he wants explosions. No, and I'm, boobies. Not, I'm, I'm listening. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm listening. Okay, it is, it is factual. It is. What's what? All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna present this in a story because I think like childlike stories that might help. tend to appeal to you yeah, better. That might. Imagine a world where the government. Uh, let's, let's you pretend- can't be shit no, 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 done okay, by. No, no. Well, let's pretend you. Let's pretend you're twelve. Wow. Okay. What does do you think the existence of actual aliens, like literal aliens with technology that far, far exceeds our own, look like in terms of the world acknowledging them, and then that information landing on you and Wait, you, Mike, are you, asking you, and you processing that? Yes, yes, yes. I would probably assume weapons first. Weapons. So, mm. so they attack. They have to be like. Committing no, atrocities. I, think, I, I just whenever I think of space technology, either speak, think of spaceships or like laser guns. Okay. Or I probably actually twelve. I probably just got done seeing District Nine, and I'd probably be like, "Give them a can of cat food. That's what they like." Mm-hmm. Remember that movie? But, what was the uh, What was the replacement show of jo- You don't watch much TV, do you? <laughs> You've never watched much. This TV. man watches nothing but well, John TV. Stewart. What was the replacement show of that show? Trevor Noah. Whatever, some asshole that had a late night show on Comedy Central was like, yeah, but why do we care? We should just focus on Earth. Who gives a shit about the space? And that's like you, Mm. man. You can't get excited about anything larger than the mole people. Hey, well, we got to fix up shop here at home before we can think Mm. outwards. Mm -hmm. You got a lot of stuff going wrong here. Yeah, but it's like if you're sure you got to fix the fucking chicken coop, or you got to plant your carrots, but there's coyotes breaking in. And the coyotes are what? Are the aliens coyotes? Yes. In this metaphor, yes. Oh, so and if everyone they, could just acknowledge them, then, then all the chickens that are divided over all these things could unite so over you, so their it's shared. So exciting, you're afraid. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Well, why didn't you get to that sooner? Are you exci- are you excited now? No, not excited. I mean, well, if you're they, it afraid, does, does it sound like a winning strategy then? So you're saying so you're not excited, you're afraid, but you were you were treating this like you were excited. <clears throat> I am mildly afraid, and but mo- but mostly just uh, confused at how little anybody seems to care, like people like yourself. That because the footage too blurry to, for them. Yeah, to but get the government about. is literally acknowledged. We don't know this is a real thing. We don't know what this is. The government, like I'm not like people a weird want- conspiracy <laughs> theorist. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. me included. I'm gonna fucking get this going. I'm trying to give you room to add some spice into this. If you're afraid, then be afraid. The what go- are they gonna do to you, Don? The, the, gov- the government is saying these things are real. I think it'd be absurd for people to be like, we're the only ones in the universe to be retarded. If yeah, for are, sure. If people are knocking on heaven's sure. door here, okay, he, what, okay, here's gotta- here's here's the thing. Right. When you were a little kid, I'm okay, sure right, that starting to lose me. What? 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 Get to the main. What do you mean? Main. Right, yeah. When you're a little kid. And back in the visual. <laughs> it, it, yeah, yeah, and and you dismiss every UFO thing, rightfully so, because they're a bunch of like fucking psychos. Mm. The, looking at it from that perspective, it isn't <clears throat> weird to you now that there is like official government recognition that this is actually a thing. No, I mean, I assume that they were they were out there. This is, uh, that's just strange to me. That's the most interesting thing about it to me. Is that like people are like, yeah, okay. Well, it's you confirmation. Know. Aliens so, are I mean, aliens it's, are it's, here, it's and they're just doing shit at the same and whatever. Time, here's the thing. Listen. Mm-hmm. If they're gonna come here and fuck, I mean, I I do not think that we would have stand a chance if they came here and decided to do anything. No, that doesn't bother you at all. I mean, yeah, it sucks. It just what am I gonna do? Well, no, I mean nothing. You know, yeah, and yeah. fair enough. And you just proceed the, with you just proceed with your life. But how is that at least not interesting? It is. I think so. 
Okay, well, that's you're just, you're been, that's very been the entire. You, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I, I honestly, e, hey, even myself, I don't think about this every day. Well, but but, you, but, that, you were, but listen, you were putting this in a way that you motherfucker, were like, you were like, oh, I'm gonna get excited about this. No, this like it is interesting that it is not just like life altering that this is a thing. Mm. You don't think that's interesting? Like literally. It being an acknowledgement that there's fucking aliens. They're they're literally aliens. Yeah, literally. I would, have, I would have told you that ten years ago. Okay. I think what's different about what you're saying though is like you can assume there's life out there, but the universe is so vast. It's perfectly well, reasonable answer, yeah. to say that they would never. Sure, they're here, right? Mm-hmm. So that's that is at least no. I mean, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, I think it's just like I I don't think anybody's gonna give a fuck until it's just like oh by the way there's a space armada heading our way and we're dead <laughs> and then people are like what. But until then, it's just like, I mean, yeah. You know, what do you do? Have aliens mm-hmm. raised or lowered the price of gas? Yeah. Uh, wait, until, yeah. wait until those aliens start raising taxes. And, you'll <laughs> and you're going to get the reaction you're looking for. Yeah. Now, imagine this, though, Don. You hear a rumble. <laughs> <laughs> and steam vents and clawing of dirt. That's right. The bull people are here. You are painting a picture, <laughs> to be fair. I, exactly. I'll, yeah. I'll, you, you said the government has acknowledged 70 fucking times. <clears throat> you got to get people excited. Now you're like, imagine this. The clouds split open. And the a, a giant pod looking like a giant pill steps forth. And the aliens step out. And they're like, hey, by the way, the thing that everything... You, you know the aliens you guys have been saying in fucking hoity-toity? Like, where's Steven Spielberg at? And they just fucking boom right to his head. <laughs> like, they... Wrong. That was wrong. And then people were like, you would have to be arguably be like, that's okay. I can live with that. Steven Spielberg, if the aliens came down and shot Steven Spielberg right through the fucking head with a laser, because he's like, you know, third encounters. <laughs> like, where's George Lucas? <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Killed all of them. Uh-huh. And they're like, that, this is what we look like, bitch, and went off. Would that not be more? Now your souls. Would that not be more electric? It would be definitely more electric. <laughs> and I feel like we wouldn't see sci-fi movies for all time. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I hope as soon as we see them, we open fire. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, if the Finns can defeat the fucking Soviet Union at the height of their power, maybe not the height of their power, but you know what I'm saying? They can defeat aliens. It always makes you think of the movie Signs. Like what Finnish alien, people? Alien invasion. I also like how I like also like how uh, human movies. Anytime it's like, anytime we're ever faced against aliens, it's like they always fuck us up at first, and then we always will prevail. Well, I like that every time we prevail, it's always something very easy and common. <laughs> it's not like, well, we need well, fucking war, uranium. War, in- war of the Worlds is yeah. just like, oh, it's oxygen killed him. Or, or it's like, oh yeah, you sneeze on him. Mm, it and science, science is like water. water. Yeah, yeah, so so good. Whereas you know, what if it's like I don't know the. Uh, those big face, those stones in Africa with the faces, or wherever the fuck they are. What if that's how you kill aliens? But it never is. It's always something super how would available. You kill that with the giant stones? Drop it on them. So just. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like there's other, there's other heavy objects and heavier objects where they don't kill them. It's like it has to be the Whoa. stone, and you get the stone. But Stonehenge, bro. There it is. The secret alien killing stones. That's the key. There it is. Now I'm, now that's, I'm interested. That's, that's the key. Electric, like you were saying. I feel like we've learned a lot about storytelling today. Oh! <laughs> oh! oh! Yeah. Yeah. You want to go see Stonehenge when we go to Can England? you believe? It's like, then they're going to have Don there. It's like all this shit happening. Like, Can you believe that the government just said that? Was- <laughs> Imagine this. Joe Biden signing off that this was a UFO. <laughs> <laughs> that there, that, that there, that was a U. That was a UFO. There's, there's aliens. There's aliens. And I'm gonna take them behind the gym and knock them out. You think about the aliens. Is that they, you put it up on top, and you move it around. And people, are like, there's no aliens. <laughs> there's aliens. Command a favor on on Joe Rogan. He said, I, I listened to that episode. Okay. I, go, I couldn't believe what I was even. And to really sell this message, we've got Don Gregor. He's going to come up and say a few words. <laughs> As a stack of paper. Can you believe that the government. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, these people are saying that this is real? <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> Everyone's just stony faces like, imagine you were 12. 
<laughs> I'm gonna be the one survivor. I'm gonna be ready. <laughs> And I'm not gonna come. I'm not gonna fuck him. I guess you know because you know and why. My stomach won't. <laughs> you know what? Vote Donald Gregor, 2024. Uh oh, uh -oh. the stage starts to shift. Oh, <laughs> I, didn't say, I didn't say that either. Take us to your leader. I didn't Take say that either. No, <laughs> not me. No. <laughs> Be my friend! <laughs> my friend! Do you have time to work? Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> that would be great. I'd like to play with your kids. My stomach would hurt. All right, that'd be, that'd We're gonna be, find out your stomach hurt. Like your alien spider hurt Make today. Make me hurt today. My stomach hurts. <laughs> 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 and let me tell you something, America. My stomach hurts! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has tum bottles and they're just fucking throwing the tums all over the place. The way you guys fucking feast on those tums is disgusting. GERD <laughs> is GERD is a major problem. That's gonna be my platform. GERD. We're gonna take it on. We're gonna throw all those resources somewhere where they count. What would be your what would, what would your opponents you've had to say? This is actually a good question. If you mm. ran for office and stuff, what would be the your opponent's smear campaign video? What would it what would it be? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about though? It's like Donald Trump. Voted against this, and now he's saying, you know, like one of those, you know, obviously smear campaign videos. Hi, I'm Joe Biden. I approve this message. One of those. I think they'd, they'd pull my spine into it. My fucked up spine. How can he support the country if he can't even support himself? Exactly. Something like make, that. make like a spineless kind I of job. I can working with a lot of people. Spineless. Yeah. Nice. It is true. What is he going to do? Mm. Lift a box. It becomes an anti people like. <laughs> lift the box. Deadlift something. I All right, out, guys, yeah, let's yeah. calm down. Come you, out you become the like, Jeb Bush. You yeah, yeah, yeah. lift that box. Everyone's like, lift the fuck. <laughs> you're just like, <laughs> you're like, ah. <laughs> you're like, be lifted over your head. There's literally <laughs> a cardboard box on my little podium stage that yeah. someone put. Okay, on okay, I've got a box. Yeah. I'm this gonna lift the, it. This is the problem. <laughs> Looking around. What would be your politician voice? Hello. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that actually probably wouldn't get me excited. Oh, and now the uh, the Republican nominee. All right, what do you want to be Democratic? The Tea Let's Party nominee, <laughs> elect Donald Gregor. I feel like I feel like you're a, you're a natural libertarian pick. Probably. I will come. Or no one's gonna stop me. <laughs> my tummy does hurt. It's my choice. <laughs> <laughs> you just end up taking my body, my it's, choice. It's my money, and I want it now. J.G. Mm. Wentworth, take that from him. J.G. Mm. Wentworth's like, that son of a bitch <laughs> just stole my slogan. <laughs> I would vote for you, Don. I would, too. Thanks, buddy. I would. Yeah. I would just throw all the assets at one of my ailments at a time, and I'd just go down the list for four years. So you throw the entire budget at time. You throw the entire budget at, like, acid Every reflux. Every building's <laughs> ceilings will be 20 feet tall! Everyone's like, okay. I guess, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Eight years. <laughs> Every fucking building is like a gymnasium auditorium fucking height of ceilings. Finally! The what planes are super tall. <laughs> That'd be great. That'd be beautiful. You can have every ceiling painted with a mural. So anytime when you want to stop and stare at the ceiling, you can. Yeah, I think you just keep the military funded so they, you know, shield can us you... while we lower up, we'll raise Go our ceilings. Go and kill them! I don't can like them! No, no, no. no, no. Can, you, can you imagine the White House stories, though? It's just like, the president, well, it was. it's like a documentary. The president, well, I was there one time... Sat in his room for three and a half hours, just staring at the ceiling, and he didn't blink once. And you're just like, <laughs> <laughs> like in there. That would be the tales from that. That's part of my legacy, dude. It's like myth building. Yeah, yeah except yeah. that do you, would that would that be a positive or a pro? Because there's like the one super fat president that they had like fucking forklift out of his bathtub. I and that's like his legacy. You have to mill that over. Mole people coming to a theater near you. Who do you reckon would win, the mole people or? The British troops in Zulu. As I've been talking about mole people, their technology has grown quite fast. At first, it was just with their hands, and by now we're talking about steam-powered fucking vehicles that are coming out of the ground. Yeah, they only would have had probably steam back then as well. So it's realistic that they would have that technology in that time. Yeah, well, maybe not the kind of drills that you're talking about. But they're no, mole no. people, they have different tech. Yeah. No, no, they don't have drills. Mole people don't have drills. It's like a uh, riverboat. Oh. 
and they go, they go through the fucking ground like that. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> hmm. And do you yeah, think you think do you think they could just come up at any place? I think so. From like underneath. I think so. Yeah, I don't know if the Zulu they have British do the hardest minerals. <laughs> that's true. Do they have access to gunpowder? Because that's kind of a big one. They don't use guns though. It would be blunt force. But all the like their helmets and stuff would be the hardest minerals. Hmm. I still think a bullet could break through the hardest mineral. Depends how thick their helmets are, I guess. Like iron ore. We were just trying to decide if the British army and Zulu would defeat the mole people. You know the answer. Kind of None. Weapons. They don't. Oh, they have, <clears throat> no weapons. They have steam-powered engines though that they use to tunnel move, under the earth. the earth, so they could come up like underneath the British soldiers. Yeah, right in the middle of their little choir. You know. It would all Nothing oh, would break that so choir. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing would break that choir. <laughs> like, yeah, okay. The they get one. It. They get one column. We've got a whole country and an empire at this mm. point to bring down on the mole people. This would be a lot like America though in Vietnam. We like, will. This is going to be easy, and then you go to their turf and. Do you know what America didn't have in Vietnam? The whole of India. We will swarm the mole people with Indians, and they will not stand a chance. At that time, that's true. I guess you did have that. We had all of India. Not anymore, though, huh? Take that, Gandhi! <laughs> Fight the mole people, Gandhi, you son of a bitch! <laughs> that'd, that'd be kind of funny if that was one of Gandhi's things. He's like, peace and love on Earth. Except for the fucking... <laughs> except for the mole. Kill them all. They are all vermin. <laughs> we must exterminate. He was yeah. kind of a cunt, to be fair. Gandhi. That's, that's not what I heard. I, I, I heard he was... Uh, I heard he just fucked a bunch of people. Mm. I get a wife, but he just fucked like crazy. Oh, I mean, fair enough. We can all admire that. But what he did do is, like, she got this sick illness. She got this illness, right? And there was Western medicine that could fix her, and he refused to let her have it or whatever. And then she died. And is then that later, just belief though. Huh? Is that just like? We'll just wait for this story to unfold. Oh, it happened to him. He got the here. same disease. Mm. And guess what? Old Gandhi did. Yes, please. <laughs> Healthy go bye byes. How many years apart was that? I don't know. Does it matter? Oh, you, mean, you, probably you will it. die. I will live. Really, it could be self-reflection within a 20 Probably three period. years. It's probably three months. <laughs> so, well, <laughs> that's the case. That does look pretty bad on him. Gandhi, what, you may, you're going to go with your beloved. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm cool. <laughs> I'm cool thank you. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Continue. Yeah, I mean, all those big peaceful people you hear, they're kind of pieces of shit. Wasn't Mother Teresa, like, kind of a bitch? Apparently. Yeah. You never know what... I bet just haters. Yeah, you never know mm -hmm. what's revisionism, do you? I'm a person on the internet, and I get that. Mother Teresa, you're cool in my book. So are you, Gandhi. Hmm. I'm just like Gandhi. Yeah. We, as internet animators, are just like Gandhi and Mother Teresa. I would let my wife die with, a, <laughs> with plenty of medicine available and then take it for myself. That does sound like me. And it was recorded on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> to forever be a warning sign. Any Finns listening to this, tell me that doesn't sound just like Finnish. Fucking devil speak. <laughs> Don used to cower in the or corner when she was in depend the kitchen. On who you ask, it's mole speak. I already said that the Finns would destroy the moles. No, no, I think it came from beneath. You know, the bit beneath they, Finland, they hear they, them taken. They, they, like, they, they thought they were the devils. Yeah. You say that the Finns are just natural descendants of the mole people who yeah, grew to the yeah. surface, or something. They got that language somehow. No, no, no. To mole, be fair, mole people it's... have are very loyal to the earth. Well, to be fair, Finnish isn't uh, an Indo-European language. It's like it's just weird. It's, it's like it's its own thing. It's like from. a yeah, Uralic yeah. or I don't know. Could have came from aliens. It could have. Or the fucking moles. No. Fins do look like aliens. If I, I if I do have my PhD in moology, let me tell you something. They're very loyal to the earth. No human has ever interacted with a mole person. <laughs> no, I think How this, do I speak English? I think this is just mm -hmm. one mole asshole, uh, like, I'm going to go to be special mole person. It goes they don't off. think like that. Okay. How, 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 how do they think? Oh, okay. Really? Mm. Well, it's sort of like ants. That's not a very mammal All behavior. They're not mammals. They're mole people. Both, both <laughs> moles and people are mammals. It's odd, I know. <laughs> it's so strange. It's it maybe odd. hard for you to understand, but... It's beyond any of the science that you may understand in your mortal-like status. <laughs> mole people are, yeah, there's actually only 75 mole people, and they're all immortal. 
That's kind of boring. Not at all. Mystical. So I liked it when there was more mole people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I liked it when there were 8 billion mole people. Damn, dude. That's more than humans. 8 billion. Well, mm-hmm. the mole, the yeah. mole people. All right, that's, that's a new narrative. They have... Double <laughs> so the more people breed, like I you would not believe. I basically only follow the beliefs where they will always be on top. That's the kind. Who of do you think would betray the rest of us and side with more people first, like nations? Oh, I think I'm between our group, and I was like, that should be fairly obvious that I would obviously <laughs> go to the mole people very quickly. <laughs> it's them. Get them more people. You kind of look like a mole person. Well, why do you think I side with them so much? <laughs> so like the mole people are very cool. They they dig up and they look just like me, so they have like ferret noses and like buck teeth that are sharp and I'm like yes you have a missing link between mole people <laughs> it's this peculiar golden eyes hmm that's, that's what sensitive they, to light they, they all have the they all have those oh mm-hmm. oh my people I hold on to one no your mole one. people I hold on to one I just go into the soft earth earth <laughs> you see like my feet go into the dirt and disappear I have to teach you to scratch they're like your hands are weak now but with practice you'll be fine <laughs> really quick. You would be the guy in Planet of the Apes who like sides with the apes. Is that happen? Does, does that happen in Planet of the Apes? Pretty sure one of them. Yeah, I've never actually seen one of those movies all the way through. Me either. But oh, I'm no, pretty I, sure I, I saw a Tim Burton one in the early 2000s with Mark Wahlberg. Not good. Not a good movie. Cool. What? Well, I you thought it was very, an interesting see, direction we could have taken. You it. You seem very mm-hmm. disappointed by this podcast today. No, I'm you're good. still upset over the aliens. I can tell. No, I've, I've let that one go. I was trying to get with you. You just presented it in such a poor way. You send me some links. I'll read and see if I can't make myself care about it. But you don't know how to read. <laughs> That's true. The alien, <laughs> alien confirmed by the. I'll read it for you. Oh, okay. Yeah. You. I wonder what you're like as a bedtime. Did your dad read you bedtime stories? No. Mine did. I wonder what you would be like as a bedtime story reader. Would you do the voices? You probably have to if it's a ki- if it's a kid, right? It's like makes it funner. Did you? Yeah, do the voices? yeah. yeah of I'd, pro- I'd probably half-heartedly do it, like a bitch. Oh, why? If I'm honest with myself. Go son, on, you're reading. I'm just embarrassed. Your son, your son's I'm embarrassed of my son. You, you're reading your think five-year-old I'm a loser. grandson, Harry Potter. Yeah. Right, become a loser. <laughs> Hagrid comes up. Oh, yeah, stop being such a fucking pussy and do the voice. Oh, I, <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. That's it. I should Get not in here. have I said sh- that. I shouldn't have sa- said that. Said Hagrid. Yeah, yeah. Hello, <laughs> said Hermione. What would you have, young? If you're reading Sorcerer's Stone, give, give a detailed scene, or what would your voices be? This is actually a good test for it. What would be the scene where Harry gets picked up by Hagrid in the tower with the like the family that like on his birthday he gives him the cake and they're, they're oh. in, the, in the movie it's like they're in the tower in the ocean so you have the dad the mom the fat kid yeah, yeah, yeah. Harry no I, I know I know the scene okay yeah. so you're a wizard Harry what because that's Hagrid what <laughs> I'm a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're a wizard, Harry. I like, okay, so Harry, Harry and Hagrid sound the exact same. Okay. <laughs> Dad, who is that? Go, 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 Harry. I, I, I want some cake, said Dudley. <laughs> That's and then Dudley rushed at Hagrid. I thought your child would be scared. Dad, why are you reading it like this? <laughs> you're in a trance. And then oh, Harry <laughs> Can I have a piece of cake? <laughs> <laughs> What would it be? Give me, a, give me a good Hagrid than a Harry. That's that's what. That's not it. He's embarrassed. Yeah. You're embarrassed. No, I, I would be embarrassed with my child. You know. You don't like me. <laughs> don't. <laughs> so, here's a, you know, so Greg, do you enjoy your dad? <laughs> yeah, I just I close, okay. I close <laughs> the book. I just close the book. Okay. I keep a pinky in there to save the spot. You but keep I close looking the book. over the brim to see if we're they're get, like we're, enjoying it. You're like. We're going to get serious for a moment. Right. Donald Jr. Mm. Ten points. Yeah, did you, did you, did you, how, okay, how, well, what's up? How was that? You want me to continue? You were, wait. Are, what? Do, do you feel tired? Yet? <laughs> Are you sleepy yet, boy? <laughs> I you. Sorry, every girl, I don't know if to be you your side. son, you t- the daughter. <laughs> you tired? <laughs> you tired, buddy? I gotta get up really early for school tomorrow. <laughs> All right, fine. If you twist my arm, I'll do one more job. 
Chapter three. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the little piggy tail protruded from Dudley's what? Yeah, I, I, I like to think that you would do I, that. You would, I love that part when I was a kid. You would yeah. it. <laughs> How funny did you think that part was when the piggy tail came out of his <laughs> what, 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 what do you think? Dad, it never said it came up his butthole. I'm pretty sure it did. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it crazy that Harry's 11 and you're 11? Don't you feel like Harry? <laughs> Donald, don't you feel you like a fucking knife? No, don't you feel like a story? Good night, son. I I'm sorry, you. I'm a daughter. I love you. I mean, uh, stop, mis oh. stop misgendering your they, they daughter. Them. Don't. <laughs> don't, don't tell your mother. <laughs> don't tell your mother I misgendered so you. Don't tell do you again. Don't tweet about this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she reads her Twitter. What would be the first book you'd read your child? <laughs> uh, I feel like Harry Potter. I would kind of scare me if I was too young. I feel like. What are you? <clears throat> yeah, I think you get them started with Berenstain Bears. Mm. Or mm. Dr. Seuss. A little mm. green eggs and ham. No, he's racist now. I would never do that to my kids. Mm. Hungry Caterpillar. Mm. Boom. Classic. You know what the fuck that is? That's probably right, also hit a hungry caterpillar. No, you guys. They hungry, hungry caterpillar. Caterpillar. The Cockney lad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks. I'll go for a stroll. And he did. And he did. The end. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Papa. Go to sleep. Go to oh. bloody sleep. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> There's a good boy. Fucking slams the door.